Hello there, amazing artists. Welcome to another video. This will be a butterfly monoprint. We are going to use paper, liquid paint, and brushes. We are going to make a symmetrical butterfly. Do you know what that means? Symmetry refers to designs matching on both sides. In this case, our butterfly will match on both sides. Actually, we're symmetrical. We have an arm on the left and an arm on the right. So, let's begin on our painting. Get a paper and fold the paper in half. Make a tight fold in the middle. Open it up and look at the line of symmetry in the middle. We are going to paint on one side only and fold to print on the other side. Here I go. I'm rubbing and part of the paint should transfer to the other side. We're going to make a wing and your wing shape could be rounded or it could look more like a monarch butterfly. It would have a taller diagonal line and look a little bit different. You might study butterflies on Google Image you might even watch some educational videos for kids on YouTube to learn about butterflies. Study the design, see how the, whoa, see how the wings show symmetry? It's time for me to make an antenna. I'm going to paint one and fold and rub, rub, rub. Let's see how it looks. You can always do it again if you're not happy with it, if you think you need a little more paint. I'm going to make some lines. I'll make some shapes. There's a line. There's another line, diagonal lines. Oh, that's fun. You can make little marks or larger marks. Use hot colors, use cool colors. Here's a rounded line, and here is a square or rectangle shape. I might even end this video with some found object printing. I'm using up my paint that I got out today for another video. Should I make some dots? I want perfect dots, so take a look. This new pencil eraser will make nice, more accurate dots. I'm going to fold and rub. I'm tempted to use my piece of cauliflower from the kitchen or something else that I have on hand for printing. Pool noodles make great donuts, by the way. You can cut them easily with a knife and paint donuts. I'm going to get a little shape. I made this stamp with cardboard and tape. I'm going to brush on paint, and I'm going to print with that. Here we go. Should I draw some background? You could even overlap and paint one shape on top of another. I wonder if it will transfer. The paint was a little thinner there. It's okay if it's not all filled in on the other side. It might actually look beautiful that way. It doesn't have to match perfectly on both sides. I think I'll keep going. I might even do a little painting with a brush on my own on both sides for details. I might do a little coloring. I might fill in the background. I might outline the shapes. 
so many possibilities. See what you can create on your own. Take a picture and share it on Seesaw with your art teachers. Take care. Happy Friday. We miss you. Now go create.